take a look at this history and mythology channel that in the last 30 days got 5.6 million views and made anywhere from one to $22,000. Before, this used to be very hard. Writing a script, voicing it over with a microphone and finding footage for hours. But this made me think, what if we write the script with AI, we use AI voiceover, we make a script that creates 90 AI images that matches the script and we bring it all together to make that video. And by the end, we answered the question, is the video actually any good? So if you want to come along with me, let's try to make a video like this together. Step number one, make the script. So first we're gonna go to seowriting.ai and unlike ChatGPT, it actually creates longer articles around 2000 plus words. So let's just click on get started. Now that we're on the inside, I'm gonna click on one click blog post. And since I saw that this sad stories of Zoo's lovers was one of the most popular, so I wanna piggyback off of that idea. We'll put Zoo's lovers into the main keyword and generate a title. Exploring Greek gods romantic tale Else, that's pretty cool. Then let's pick the core settings. Let's make the tone of voice quite witty. The point of view, third person, he, she, it, target country, United States, article size. Let's keep it at medium at around 3000 words. And in the AI model, let's use GPT 4.0 last model. I've already included my API keys. So that brings our total cost down. And they've also included this humanized text that I want to keep at a fairly low reading level so anybody can watch. Watch it. Now let's scroll down and if you were to make a blog with this, you could add AI images inside of here, but I have a very interesting tool that I created for us that I want to show you a little later. So for this, we'll click on none. YouTube videos, also a none. For SEO, we really want to click on this NLP keywords generation so we can rank better. This will include those words in the actual article itself, and then we'll land at the structure. One of the best parts of SEO writing is you can include a good hook. And that's really important in a YouTube video because you basically have five seconds to grab someone's attention. And with this exact video, I definitely believe the anecdotal or story is gonna hit the hardest. Now, since we're using this for YouTube generation, we're not gonna include a conclusion, table, H3s, lists, and everything like this. This looks really cool for a blog, but for us, let's take them away and let's continue you going down. Here, we really want to connect to the web. I'm gonna do deep web that analyzes hundreds of the most relevant websites. We can also include the source link that will be amazing to have in the link in the description so people can actually see where we got the information from. And then we also get syndication. So this is really cool if we have a Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook for our business around history and Greek mythology, we can basically just get the entire post written for us. I'll skip the WhatsApp message and Pinterest, and then we reach the outline editor. This is where we can edit the outline before it actually goes out, but I trust in SEO writing to do this for me. And lastly, we reach publish to WordPress. This would be awesome if we had a blog, but that's about it. Let's scroll all the way to the top and click on run. And just like that, the entire script is written for us with multiple short stories of Zeus and his lovers. And at the end of it, it includes all the source links that the script is based upon. It ended up around 2,300 words, which is around a 10 minute long video. So now all we need to do is step number two, create a voiceover. Let's copy the entire script and let's go to 11labs.io because this has the most realistic AI speech. Obviously, if it sounds way too staccato and robotic, people aren't really gonna watch. So I hope we can find some good voices in here. Let's go to the voice library and listen to some of them. I'm thinking, uh, man, Manly American voiceover. So let's change the language, English, accent, American, and gender, male. Let's take a listen. After all, the most important quality of speech is that it is. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. John Doe. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Whoa, that sounds good for history and mythology, but let's take a look at something else. Later that same evening, Detective Carlson received an anonymous. That's actually not bad. Let's keep going. It is a profound truth that the deep things in science are. I'm feeling maybe John Doe. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Yeah, that would be perfect. So we just did all the three parts. Now let's just download them and head to step number three, generate the video. So for us to create this video, we need a bunch of AI images 
but it would be pretty annoying to prompt again and again and again with hundreds of different images. So what I did was I created a script for us using the replicate.com API that splits our texts into sections then feeds replicate that exact prompt and in turn we can automatically generate hundreds of images automatically which saves us a bunch of time all we need to do is copy the entire text from seo writing ai open the script i made and paste it in here then we define the style that we want and i would love to have cinematic and then we choose how many parts or images that we want since the video is going to be around 15 minutes after all the audio is done, and I wanna have a change around every 10 seconds, that means we need around 90 images. So in the parts here, I'm gonna write 90, but for demonstration purposes, let's just do nine, save it, write Python, script to image.py, enter. And as you can see, we get image part one, two, three, four, and it just keeps going and creates all of these amazing images for us, all neatly sorted in this folder. So as you can see, all of the images perfectly created. So I want to try the mythological, highly detailed digital art. Let's see how that looks like. And here are the results. Okay. This one is really cool. This one too seems very mythological and very creative. Yeah, I love this one. And especially this one, if I saw this, I would be really engaged. So let's keep going with this style. And I also wanna show you how to use this. And if you've never coded before and you think that you need a lot of technical experience to use this, it's actually super simple. I also don't know how to code. So if you know how to copy and paste, then you can do this. But before I show you, I am working on a way for us to make 90 images, then automatically put that into a video editor with 11 Labs voiceover all in one go. So it's all automated. And if you want to see that, comment down below AI video generator and like this video that shows me that a lot of you are interested in it and I'll be happy to spend more time so we can get an even better tool that we can use together. All right, with that out of the way, let me show you how to set it up. So all you need to do is first go to replicate.com, click on your account settings, billing and set up a payment method. We're going to be using the Flux Snell model, which is the fastest and the cheapest because it costs around $0.003 per image. So 100 images would cost around 30 cents. We'll go to this Black Forest Labs Flux Snell model and click the API. And then we'll click on the Python and copy our replicate API token. Just click here. Now just go to code.visualstudio.com because this is where we're going to run it. Now that we're on the inside, all you need to do is click on file, new file, and then we're going to name it something like script to image.py and I recommend that you save it to your documents folder. Now in the link in the description, I have given you access to the entire code. So all you need to do is copy, then just paste it in here. Now let's take the replicate API token. And if you have a terminal in the bottom right here, that's perfect. But if you don't click on the plus icon to create a new one, if that doesn't work, you can go to the top, click on terminal and click on new terminal. Here you have the environment that we're going to run this script. So I'll just copy and paste the token into the terminal, click on enter, and that should be fine. Now all I'm going to do is save the script to image by clicking control S. And then I'm going to write Python three script to image dot pi and click on enter. Just like that, you will see that it's going to start creating images for you, but you might run into a problem and you actually almost guaranteed going to run into a problem. So that's why when you run into a problem, you just copy the error code that you get into chat GPT and chat GPT will rewrite the code for you. And then you just copy and paste back and forth. And if you have any problems there, just ask for more information or what to do and follow ChatGPT's instructions by just copy pasting the code and copy pasting the error message. And I promise you that going back and forth a couple of times will get it to work for you. Also to make this run, you would have to write pip install replicate and run that. As you can see, I already installed it 
But again, make ChatGPT your best friend and you will have it up in no time. Then, like I said before, all you need to do is triple click this. You can write your entire script in here, choose the style, choose how many parts that you actually want. And we can now use the script to image pi file to get some amazing results. So all that's left to do is to actually create 90 images so we can make the actual video. So I'm gonna save my pi file, write python3 script to image dot pi, enter. And I think we're gonna do a time lapse. I have to say that this is absolutely incredible. I guess there are some things that are kind of wonky, like I'm gonna show you this one, for example. You see that an arm is coming out of his head. So there is a way that you can actually make better images and that's to change the Flux Schnell to the Flux Pro. But the Flux Pro model is five cents per image, which means that 100 images is around $5.50. So use that however you will. Since we have 90 images now, all we need to do is go to step number four, create the video. Let's go to DaVinci Resolve 19 because this is one of the best free video editors that we can use. Just click on free download now. Now we just drag the images in and we get the 11 labs voiceover. Let's drag them onto the timeline. I'll go to the edit tab in the bottom and now we'll just drag the voiceover just like that. Now that we're gonna use all of them for 10 seconds, we need to set up a setting inside of edit by just clicking on DaVinci Resolve in the top and then preferences. Now click on user editing and in the general settings here, we put the standard still duration for 10 seconds. Now let's save, select all the images, drag them in and they should all be 10 seconds. Now I see that we're missing a couple at the end. I'm gonna fix that later as well as the intro is always the most important part of the video. So we're gonna spend some time there as well. But something we're gonna do on all the images is basically have a slow zoom in as well as a transition that goes basically like this. Oh, lover. Nope, that's not what I wanted. So what we're gonna do is go to the video transitions. Here you can see a bunch of different ones. I actually really like smooth cut as well. That kind of warps the images into each other like this, which could be cool. There's also another one that is called the drop warp that looks like this. The Luma wipe could be pretty sick. You know what? I think we're gonna go crazy with the Luma wipe. So I'll go right click on it. And this is important. Click on set as standard transition. Now I'm gonna select these two images, click on command T, and then we're gonna set the default duration of the transition by going up to the top. And I believe for a slow video like this, maybe three second duration would be a good idea. Let's take a look at how it looks like. So going from this image. Zeus took Europa in a magical way going to into this a image. Swan. Yep, that looks pretty good. So I'll click on that as default duration. And then I'm gonna delete all the transitions here. And again, I'm gonna save a little bit for the end. So I'm gonna click on option, click and drag. This will be alt, click and drag to just copy all the images. And I'll just click on command T that basically creates a transition between all the frames. But we got one more thing we need to do. I basically wanted to zoom in continuously through the entire video. So all we need to do then is go to the second image here and we want to start the zoom basically where the Luma wipes starts off, making sure that you have the first image selected. We're gonna keep that at one on the zoom at the top right, as you can see. And then when we end off on basically a little bit further away from the clip's end, we're gonna have a zoom at maybe 130 would be good. So now when we transition in, it has a continuous zoom. I do see that there's a black bar in the top of some of these images. So I would go in and change that by hand. But to apply this effect on all the images, all we need to do is click on Command C or that would be Control C for Windows. Then we're gonna select all the images here and then we're gonna do Alt V. 
this only pastes the attributes. So we'll make sure that all of the things are on, apply, and now we got the exact same keyframes on all of them. So all of them continuously zooms in until the end of the video. I'm pretty happy with how far we've come and I actually can't wait to watch the entire thing. But the next step would be to add some music to it. So we just go to pixabay.com, click on music, and here we can find some music that may be good for our video. I'm just gonna take a quick listen. Okay, I think we found a good one. Also, it's around seven minutes long, so that's really cool. I'm gonna download that. And this is copyright free, so you don't have to worry about copyright strikes or anything like that. I'm gonna drag it in. I'll click option again and drag it through and do the same all the way at the end. So we got the entire video. And now I'm basically gonna do some editing magic to bring it all together. Hey, I started watching a bunch of it and I was super engaged in the story. And the crazy part is that many of the images actually match up with what's being spoken because it's obviously taken from that part of the script. And that's exactly what we want to happen. Now, what I did in the intro is I really just changed images every second, and then I did it every second second, and then I started doing every 10th second. And this because we want to capture their attention in the beginning with some of the best pictures, and then slowly ease them into the video and capture them with the first story. One of the things that I found is that actually our first story is more of an overview of Zeus and I kind of want and I kind of just wanted to dive directly into the first lover story so I'm actually going to cut out this part here and that solves our problem with the images at the end too so now the only thing we need to do is add subtitles so we're going to click on the timeline button at the top here then go down to create subtitles from audio. I'm gonna put the maximum characters per line to 30, and you could also create different caption presets here. Line single and click on create. And now it looks like this, but it's just white. So we have to change it around a little bit. Let's just click on the first one, click on the customize caption button. We're gonna change the color to a yellowish color. Then click on the track in the top, go down to stroke outside only, change the color to black, and then add some drop shadow as well. Put the offset a little bit to the right and a little bit down. Actually, I see now that I like the white one one better with some stroke and drop shadow. So I'll actually turn off the yellow. And now you see that we have subtitles through the entire video. I'm really happy with the result that we got so much created by AI and obviously changing it a little bit ourselves. But in the end, it was really simple to make such a great video. So now I want to show you one of the parts. So sit back, relax, and let's watch our final result. The story of Zeus and Europa mixes love with myth. Europa was the beautiful daughter of a king. One day, while picking flowers, the god Zeus saw her. He turned into a gentle white bull to win her love. Europa climbed on his back, not knowing what would happen next. Zeus then carried Europa to Crete across the sea. This bold move was both daring and sweet. Their love gave them three sons with important roles in myths. The name Europe comes from Europa. It was first used in the 6th century BC. This tale influenced the continent's name and left a mark on history. We did it. I'm so surprised how I'm actually captivated by the story and the images that AI has created. I can't wait to see what you're going to use this for. And if you want to connect with me and other like-minded people using AI to save you time, check the link in the description to join the waitlist for the private community. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.